It got kind of awkward because he was like, um, there's not that much makeup for black people. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Hi. Okay, sorry. I'm at Sonic right now. Oh, I'm just leaving. And also, for some reason, I always pull up to Sonic too far from the window so they have to come around and give it to me but I figure when it's dark at least I tried to like go to like the drive through and Sonic is so good okay wow this bus is like blinding me okay mm -hmm. let me try to make this light okay I'm I don't even know why I said make this light because obviously I made it. Damn. I, yeah, okay. So, what day is it? It's a Monday. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't always do something special, but I just try to actually treat it like a holiday. But the problem is I'm always at school when it's a holiday, so I guess... Maybe that's why like I feel a little bit lonely even though my family doesn't do anything I just like to be surrounded by people who like who will understand like what the day means so let me try to tell you what happened okay last time I saw you I went to George's house first of all George had a meeting and like he could have just told me that because then I would have just stayed at my roommate's party even though I felt awkward I would have stayed in the beginning and then left but whatever I was waiting there awkwardly with Michael and Gina actually it wasn't that awkward that time it was fine then like George comes back we finished trying to or we tried to finish watching the movie the big offer um but we didn't finish it again because he's really tired because I'm sure he's still jet lagged because like that's still a huge time change even though it's been like a few days or it'll be a week tomorrow that he's been back damn really anyways I can't believe time fly flies by that fast but yeah he came home we tried to watch the movie he actually fell asleep and here's the thing I kept saying oh I'm gonna go back to my roommate's house and hopefully I'll be like at the end of the party or something and they could be like oh bye but I just felt awkward altogether so I think it was a good move to just like bring a card and then leave so um okay so that was yesterday I guess this was his only day off in a while so no uh, no 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 I didn't even finish yesterday I'm sorry here's the part that was weird that's making me a little bit conflicted okay so George was feeling my face and he was like your face is so smooth which I've heard people say that before so I was just like okay but then like it seemed like it was different and I was like oh I have makeup on so you're actually like rubbing the makeup I just thought it was funny so then he's like I'm sorry it's about to be pitch black the, the video I mean wow these people are like walking and this is so dangerous right here because I'm like super close to them okay so hopefully they're all like out of the way and why is there so many plants right here okay so I'm at least trying to make this part short so I said oh um I said oh I'm wearing makeup and he's like you are and I was like yeah a little bit of makeup like can't you tell and then you'll see in the video when I finally freaking post this that I'm wearing okay so here's what I was wearing foundation uh 
concealer but obviously like it's it's not I don't it's not really visible but it's really fun for me to do because I love watching those YouTube videos but okay so mineral foundation concealer under my eyes and like on my nose or something um or under my nose or whatever um eyeliner on the bottom lid on the top lid and eyeshadow that's usually my routine for like anything oh no 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 i'm forgetting i had mascara and blush so i was like full like full my version of fleek so for some reason i thought that was the police so <clears throat> i had everything like on fleek and then like he was like why are you wearing makeup and then I was like, well, one, like, I don't like to go out with nothing because um, my mom told me, like, I should be careful because I've always had just a bare face. But when it's really cold and, like, stuff, it's really, like, bad for um, my skin, like, especially since it's colder here in Texas so I said okay I'll try to go out and even though it kind of messes up you know the pores I feel like it's better to go home and take off the layer than like my face had to go through the whole day like straining so anyways yeah I put on the makeup and um Put on, or he said, I want to see how you look without the makeup because it seems pointless to me. So then I'm take, I took off half of my face of makeup, and honestly, he um he pointed out the only difference is your eyes, which is true. Which is one of the things that I'm like I enjoy most because I've had so many eye problems that it makes me feel good that like I can at least feel better myself like of controlling something with my eye that's my personal connection to eye makeup man it is literally pitch dark i'm sorry i'm about to go home let me show you what i got at sonic because it's like super funny this is my favorite because it's uh the first drink i ever tried i think it's a blue coconut slush and then i got some strawberries in it i think and then I got some fries, some mozzarella sticks, and what else did I get? Oh yeah, and jalapeno poppers. Those are like my three favorite things. I got the ranch, but honestly, I'm probably gonna put it in my fridge. Oh, it's like warm. I'm not gonna eat this, I don't think. I should've just got the marinara sauce, but. I prefer to just eat these by themselves. These look really good, like jalapenos. Oh, yeah. And then I guess they always take long. Or maybe they do this to everyone, but they always give me coupons. This time I'm probably going to use it, though. Because the other one is like a burger. Yeah. So two free ice cream cones. Okay, and then they gave me like a token. They're so cool there. That's really cool. Anyways, it's like 50 degrees, I think, or something around there. Anyways, I'm kind of eating, but I'm kind of eager to just get this off of my chest. So first, we were talking about makeup. That was fine. He was saying don't wear makeup around me or like don't wear makeup which I'm not even sure if he was 100% serious but obviously I was like I'm gonna do what I want to do you know then it got kind of awkward because he was like um there's not that much makeup for black people and I was like yeah that's true that is true or like he said my sister told me there's not a lot of makeup for black people so I was like, yeah, well, your sister's right, because there really isn't. Because he was like, yeah, 
Like, I couldn't tell you wearing makeup, but he was like, oh, I could probably tell if it was, like, a white girl wearing makeup. So, I don't know. I don't know if I just don't have experience, like, dating other races and why this is weird to me. But, like, lately it's just been pissing me off, like, that <laughs> I don't know if it's I can't relate to my most recent ex and this guy. Like they're not trying to like I don't think they have intentions of like offending me but they just do cause I think it's almost like a maturity like deal breaker like I almost feel like it, it just gave such a weird vibe like it's almost like you don't need to say that because I already know like I don't know I was like a little bit offended and I'm not sure why because most of the time I'm just like whatever which is bad but most of the time I'm just kind of like bruh like whatever so that was like the first thing and then I think like I think oh yeah we hung out I woke up or we woke up and then we got these nice really hipster bagels that were really really good like the one we ordered I got jalapeno cheddar but it comes with just like a regular wheat bun it was egg whites which you know I don't like a yellow part of or the egg yolk so egg whites spinach turkey um and avocado and it was so good and the jalapeno cheddar like bagel was so subtle that you just felt a little bit of spice and not too much like cheese because that might have tasted weird anyways so we went and got bagels and then i was really like i'm not feeling this anymore like that's how i felt like after he said that i don't know why i just here's how i feel it's, I don't think it's so much about exactly what he said. I think it's so much as, like, there's going to be situations where, like, he's, like, I'm going to have to explain it to him. I guess that's new to me, like, to explain to someone, like, oh, yeah, that's the other thing that happened. Like, he just keeps, like, talking about my hair, and I don't know, like, I think I'm not really offended by someone who's interested in my hair, but I'm offended when he just says like stuff like, oh, like I've never, I don't know, like he's like, oh, I've never like touched your hair and like, yeah, I've never like felt hair like this. I don't know what to do in those situations. I really don't. Like, I honestly. I don't and then his friend Michael who's also from Austria his friend Michael like when he left me like earlier in the day he was like m joking with Gina about like her religion or something and because I think she's Jewish and so he's like oh are you sure you're not like Rastafarian so I just laughed because I was like oh yeah like that's funny because when I had box braids a lot of people mostly in Europe would ask me if I was a Rastafarian and so like I was about to be like oh a lot of people in Europe thought I was Rastafarian so I was like oh yeah a lot of people thought I was and then like Michael interrupts me and he's like oh cuz you have dreads or I think he said you have dreads and like yesterday it was a more defined braid out but I hope he meant like I hope he said you had dreads I don't know I was just uncomfortable and I think it's because he gave me that black Santa sweater but it was from the movie but apparently they told him like that would be a horrible gift so I don't know what's going on like it's just really awkward because flash forward to the makeup thing as we're talking about like oh there's not that much makeup for like black people I was trying to explain to him like it's just the fact that there's not a variety of shades so then he's like oh well um 
so Michael passes by and he's like, oh yeah, well, we're talking about how there's not really that many shades for black people in makeup. I'm, I don't know what it is, like, I guess, like, my only two relationships were black guys up until I went out with this Irish guy or whatever. And that was, I don't even know if I consider that going out with him. It was like two months and then he just disappeared. So, I guess it's just new to me to, to have to explain like my experience, my point of view. But it's really hard not to be offended when like someone's like touching your hair like you're at the fucking zoo or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe I'll... I will look for what types of, you know, stuff like, <laughs> just like black women, or maybe even black men that kind of go through it in some ways, but I'm just like, I think it's new to me because I've just never hung out with someone like, like a significant other for so long, and then they started like asking me questions and like, It was just a little bit frustrating and like disheartening and I felt uncomfortable and I also every time I go hang out with him I don't know when he wants me to leave like he asked me to go do stuff like he asked me to go get breakfast with him okay then I was like okay do you need to work like I'll go and then he's like no I want you to stay or no I want you so I'm like okay be clear but then like I waited and stayed for him to do the work then when he came back he was like oh I thought you were gonna leave I don't know I'm just so over it right now you know what I'm getting back to focusing on school if I see him I'm gonna see him I just feel so like like almost like I was getting to a cool point with him and then he just killed it a little bit but I can't I don't want to be completely mad because he probably will never understand like how many times or how how many forms how many people I have to talk to about this I guess the glimmer of hope is that I told him about something racist my classmate said like basically she alluded to the fact that if she had to introduce a black guy to her grandparents that he would have to have a really good job or something so that's the chick that keeps asking me to hang out and I've been avoiding her and I don't know what I'm going to say to her. So, probably the truth would be a good idea. Anyways, no, so that... So I explained what she said, and immediately he was like, that's racist. So if he can kind of identify that, it's fine. But the only thing I'm worried about is, with the freaking Irish guy, and with this guy, I try to explain, like, that my teacher was being really weird picking on me and they just both thought it was funny like I don't know if it's just like what else are you supposed to do besides laugh at it but it's like an actual serious thing to me like I'm actually like really angry about it and this is like the second time that like they're like laughing about it like for instance I went back home and told my best friend I didn't even get to like the worst story I just told him like kind of a little bit of what the teacher said and he was like shocked you know he wasn't laughing so i'm like i kind of need some sincerity <laughs> in some way or some other stuff i'm like maybe he can understand because people have you know certain ideas about him because he's a person of color too like he's filipino but he can probably relate to the fact that people like come up to him and say stuff or you know like it's just frustrating like if anybody out there has advice, I know yesterday or yesterday's video, I'm going to try to post it like right now. I think that's what I'm going to do before I go to bed because tomorrow is the first day of spring semester, which I'm kind of nervous about. So hopefully I'll get those videos up because I need advice ASAP. So my advice question for this video, I guess, is... Like, have you ever been offended by someone, but, like, you're not sure if it's ignorance or you're 
conflicted on whether they would understand you. This could be for anyone. Obviously, if it's more specifically a black woman or a black person who understands what exactly I'm trying to like say, like I'm still interested in this guy, but I was completely like off put by like just him being like, oh, like I've never like touched your hair or like, uh, like you. I can't see makeup on you, but I can see makeup like on a white person. Like, you know, it's kind of like he's saying stuff that just comes to his mind. I guess he's telling the truth, but like, should I be offended? Would you be offended? Would you be offended? It's just like a weird question. Anyways, for now, I'm gonna, f I don't know why I can't eat <laughs> before I keep doing these videos, but. I'm probably gonna watch Jane the Virgin right now if my if I didn't break my computer because of course I dropped it playing with these cats that George has at his apartment. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. If anyone could help me out, shout out to you. Or if you have a similar story, shout out to you as well. I will probably see you tomorrow unless I can think of anything else to say. And yeah, Sonic is bae right now. Sonic is bae. Bye.